Hey guys, Shabbat LK back here. We're back here with the analysis for the uh, Mufasa, the Lion King teaser trailer. Now, um, there's a lot of things I wanted to go into during that uh, during that reaction that I, I didn't. Um, a lot of things that really need to be uh, analyzed, essentially. We're going to actually go bit through bit by the trailer, and then we're going to talk about some other information that was released, including the teaser poster, which was released alongside the teaser trailer, of course. Um... But right here, like, uh, you guys can see my mouse, um, we see a, a section, uh, well, we're going to start with the trailer looking at these mountains. We see some lions here. Looks like uh, either two, maybe three, plus Rafiki, or two plus Rafiki. <laughs> um, hard to tell, but they're at the top of a summit, and it's pretty interesting. Bear with me, I got a little bit of a cold. <laughs> but, uh, yes, so we're going to, uh, that's where we'll start with our review. Nothing much else to mention there, except for that we do have, obviously, new environments in the trailer. The next thing of which to mention is the ice cave. Now, what's interesting here is, uh, I want to get to the shot if I can, where you see this is a lion. So you see one lion, two lion, lioness. I'm guessing this is going to be uh, Mufasa and Taka, or Taka and Mufasa, whatever, what have you. Um, this is probably Sarabi, and then this is Rafiki right here. So some interesting... Uh, Again, with the ice cage, cave, sorry, beautiful. Um, who knows about what that's going to mean, what the scene's going to be, but uh, very interesting. Uh, moving on to this. So when I first saw this, at first glance, I'm like, in my mind, I was thinking, Tree of Life? But I, I, it's not big enough, or it's not, they wouldn't do that, would they? I mean, they could. This could be a reference but it probably won't be out. I do think that there's a lot of things, obviously, the teaser trailer, there's a lot of things we're not going to get in the actual trailer itself. Um, like, a lot of things we're probably not going to know, but uh, there's going to be actually some more interesting stuff to talk about later on in this. But uh, all we have here is tree. Um, the next thing of mention of interest is uh, it's seemingly Rafiki and potentially relatives. Um, wow, yeah, I mean... I did not expect that within this, so, but it's very interesting. I mean, we are seeing young Rafiki, very obvious that we're seeing young Rafiki, so it makes sense. It makes total sense. Um, moving on to, oh, yes, this scene. So, you might not be able to see this very easily, but if I change the playback speed and play this slowly, look who we have here. It seems we do have some hyenas. So very interesting. Uh, we do have confirmation that there will be some hyena characters in there. Uh, again, with the fact of the 2019 film, it's not going to be anyone like Banzai, Shenzi, or Ed, or even maybe um, Lion Guard uh, mentioned members, but it's going to definitely be hyenas that we see. Um, it's definitely going to be hyenas. Uh, what that relation is, what the development is with that, what they do, who knows, who knows. Um, but there are definitely uh, in here which is uh, something to mention. The next thing I noticed with this trailer uh, is this. I mean, they definitely, so this scene, if you watch it, notice how the leg, we had a problem with the leg, the way it was uh, animated. When he steps forward like that, and they fixed it. They fixed the leg. He looks like he's got good expression. He's got life. It looks like he's got, actually got life in the eyes, life in the facial expression. This is where I think they did really well with the footage and um, uh, CGI with this movie, is I think they're going to nail down the facial expressions fairly decently. There's just something uncanny about it, um, especially in the way that happens. <laughs> uh, there's some interesting CGI that happens there. Could be better, and then we're going to see that throughout. That's why I have a little worry. I think there's some going to be some problems with the CGI uh, throughout this movie, which, again, it's just, uh, but again, uh, we'll see what happens when we have the full film. Um... Moving on to uh, this scene. We've got a waterfall, of course. Beautiful lands. This looks almost like the exact scene where we have uh, the scenes of, like, Can You Feel the Love Tonight? It looks very similar to that landscape. Um, so perhaps we're getting, uh, again, uh, there's a very good question of what that may mean. Um, and yeah, I mean, so this is uh, apparently going to be a, supposed to Mufasa, according to the voiceover that plays with it. Barry Jenkins again. Now, this scene. Okay, this scene, there's actually some things to mention with this. Um, 
What I wanted to mention with this scene is this is probably, and it most likely is like Sarabi and Mufasa, or Mufasa, more the most likely is Mufasa and Taka. I do think it's going to be Mufasa and Taka. Jump in playfully over the uh, hippos. Could there be a chance that these two cubs, one of them's Kiara and one of them's Kovu? And I'll explain that in a second. But could that be a chance? Who knows? There, there, there is a chance. It's very low. I don't think that's what it is. But people have actually, uh, I've been talking to some people within the fandom, and they've made that a uh, possibility that I didn't even see. But I like to mention all the possibilities to get people's minds flowing and to see kind of generally where this is going. Because, uh, again, this story is going to have to have some connection to Kiara. Kiara's been confirmed. You'll see that within the voice credits. And what does that have to do with her, this story? that That's what I really want to know. And we're going to go into a little bit more detail with that. So some other scenes in a second. Now, the other scenes we're going to see are underwater scenes. Uh, obviously, uh, we know that from at least uh, about two years ago, back in 2022, and then like at D23, but also during a, lo a long period of um, a bunch of different events until like up to now, there were scenes of talking about showing Mufasa get swept away in the flood and that's how he probably gets separated from his parents, according to this. Who knows? Um, but which is interesting to mention is that this right here is a stampeding herd of animals, which is also interesting to see. Man, wouldn't that be depressing if they use that as a callback? Like, he escapes that stampede, or which it looks like right here. And yet, he doesn't escape it, obviously, later on in life, and that's really unfortunate. We got Rafiki again. The, an interesting mustache. I don't know, maybe he always had a mustache. Maybe I just didn't notice. I don't know. That's just interesting. But facial expression looks okay. That is directly after that stampeding scene. You see probably Mufasa leaping across. Probably what that stampede scene everything is, is uh, him trying to escape these evil lions that have been mentioned so much um, and things. This right here. Notice, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play this scene again. Notice this scene right here in the ice. I believe this is a sort of like, can you feel love tonight type of scene. This is probably like Nala, or sorry, not, not Nala. This is probably Sarabi, and this is Mufasa, you know, chasing each other down the ice. This is Sarabi probably running through the ice. Um, we've got younger Zazu. And now the question is, what is his role in this? I have no idea. Uh, definitely, you can tell Rafiki looks a lot younger too, at least by his like design. Um, Again, circle. Also, uh, just for uh, just is gonna just gonna shout out here. We had this footage leaked, and a lot of other footage within this trailer leaked. And a lot of you told me that it was fake. You said it was fake. I can guarantee you guys. I will. I will not post. I'm very careful about what I post on my channel. Um, I don't ever post anything unless I truly think that it's it's real. And um, again, the, it, just to prove you, I mean, just to say. Um, and some of you already admitted, said, well, I was wrong, but like, good. I just want to make sure that you guys understand. I'm not going to try to lead you in a wrong direction. I'm going to always make sure, but we're going to get, not get to that. That's not the point of this. The point of this is to keep analyzing this trailer. So we're going to do so. Uh, you know, uh, Rafiki and Mufasa together. Love that Mufasa again, I, has that shorter, uh, mane cause he's younger. It's, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. Um, this is interesting. So the way the animals are also moving, if you notice, even with the hippos in the beginning in this, see how they're moving around? It, these are probably song sequences, if I had to guess. These are probably definitely song sequences. They actually remind me a lot of um, Can't Wait to be King in the way they look, too. Um, so that's very interesting uh, to analyze. This is cool. This is a obviously lion depiction in the stars with probably Mufasa looking up to it. Now, who is that lion in the stars? Perhaps his family, perhaps a deceased family member. I, I do have a feeling there's going to be some, some obviously there's got to be some tragedy in the beginning. Um, especially because like, they have to go on the, the whole plot of what was said is they got to go on the run because these evil group of lions will probably end up killing Taka's parents and Mufasa's parents. And We'll see what happens with that, but, 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 but for the most part, you know, uh, we do have some mention to that. That's good, but perhaps this is probably going to establish how um, that connection was made. How that's, like, you know, probably shows you who taught that um, connection. Um, actually, one thing I want to mention, noticeably in this trailer, who's absent, I've noticed, unless it's some of the lines that we can see that I don't recognize it, 
But um, Mufasa's parents and Taka's parents, unless there's some lines that we see, I don't think they're really shown in this trailer, which is which is interesting. But it, it's a it's a good choice for a teaser trailer, I would say. Um, now this scene. So pay very close attention, okay? And I'm gonna get into these lions later. But pay very close attention. This lion and this lion, which this lion's probably Mufasa by the looks of it. And this lion, it looks like one of the and what I'm gonna call the white albino uh, snow pride. I'm gonna call them snow pride because I don't know, but um lions but watch how they circle each other boom you see that see how they're not confrontational and one circles this way one circles this way keep that in mind um to where you see the scene like this uh right um right here notice how one's on one side that's the same scene probably cut a different angle um it is uh, line here, line here, and they're facing toward us. They're facing toward us on something. What are they? What are they um, angry about? Looking at? We're gonna have to figure that out. But that's interesting. How they're both angry looking, uh, and uh, sorry, very uh, feral expressions looking at something. Um, <laughs> I call this the uh, I call this the Little Mermaid Lion King. <laughs> Uh, no, uh, th this is, uh, again, underwater scenes, probably showing the flood, some things with that. Uh, again, animals romping around, probably, uh, this is, it looks like, I can't tell if that's one of the albino lions, or snow pride lions, and Taka or Mufasa, I can't tell. It's probably not, it's probably Taka and Mufasa. This right here, so notice, these lions are white. They are albino, uh, white lions. Um, they are obviously, and this has been curmed, oh, Confirmed to be, oh man, I'm forgetting his name. But it'll come up in, in the characters. But he is the main antagonist, and I'll mention that, of this movie. He is the one who's the dangerous leader of, sorry, the very dangerous leader of the very dangerous pride of lions. Um, that's pretty much chasing down Taka and Mufasa during this movie. So it, it's going to be interesting to see um, more about this later on. Uh, again, probably... Uh, actually, that could have been Scar. Did I see the Scar? You see that? That might be Scar. Right there? I don't know. That might be Scar. Anyway, I don't know. This right here uh, is interesting. This crocodile. You know what this reminds me of? Especially with this right here. I could be wrong. It could be a croc and Mufasa. But if they wanted to. I mean, people are throwing out the theory, hey, that might be... Uh, Young Kiara, and uh, I doubt it because that'll see, but it could be, you know, Kovu or Young Ki, someone, and uh, against the Crocs, because it does have very resemblance to that, but I, I doubt it. Uh, this seems interesting. This is, so there's a bunch of theories on this one of whether, because again, this is the story being told by Rafiki to Kiara, but also Timon and Pumbaa have reference in it too. So perhaps Timon and Pumbaa are making something up about like Scar, them fighting Scar, or perhaps they did fight Scar and they're trying to talk to Kiara about how they did battle him or whatever. Um, perhaps that's what this scene is. Because this looks uh, a lot like that with the fire. Who knows? Uh, but that's where I get from that. This, okay, this lion right here, this lion that's right here. This is interesting. I want you guys to pay close attention to... Uh... So the face is interesting. She's a, It looks like a very scraggly lioness. I don't... Could could it be? So here here's the here's why who I think this is based on that shot, but also the fact of this. You see this elbow tufts. Actually, it's more it's more uh, if I can get to stop at the right point. So right there, see that? Could this be? Now I have a theory because it's not been announced yet, but it could just be. They wouldn't they wouldn't know. But could that be Zira? Based on those uh, tufts at the uh, the, uh, I, I I do think it because I think we saw Sarve earlier. There is Seraphina, but she wouldn't have the tufts. Could this be a new character entirely? Sure, but um, man, I would hope that it's uh, Zira, because uh, that would make more sense. Again, I don't understand if you include Kiara in a film. I don't understand um, what the point of that is unless you do include like. Zira in the story, because why would you... At that point, you might as well just give us either... You might as well have just given us Copa or just another new character, because if you're not going to do Kiara with Kovu in the end or anything, what your plans are, at least for the future, 
And so I think that if they wanted to, again, if they were smart and they were trying to set up a foot, foot again, Disney's not that smart at the minute. So, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna talk about that. Uh, this is, uh, yep. Again, a scene we've seen already. This is the one from the, uh, the uh, the, the um, leak that we had. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about within these. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to go, like a lot of stuff to go into. Um, the albino thing's pretty cool. The, the possibility of that being zero, like, man, is, the hyenas are back. I mean, this facial expressions. And this scene was one scene, right? Um, this one scene, if I am blind, I'm not going to be able to find it, am I? That one scene of uh, the crocodile, which, again, really just... Makes me think of The Lion King 2 and the way that uh, the crocodile scene works. I don't think they'd ever reference anything like that. But this facial expression stuff, man, they're done, they're done a lot better than uh, definitely 20 films. So they do, do, do well in that. However, we do get air problems with the CGI, like uh, this this like weird stretched neck looking issue. But um, yeah, I mean, uh, again, I, I, I don't know about this. I still have really big worry. The other things I want to talk about are some of the casting. Casting looks solid. Of course, Donald Glover returned for Simba as well as Nala for, or, or sorry, as well as um, Beyonce for Nala. Her daughter's actually going to play Kiara. Um, so that's, of course, interesting. Um, interesting there. Um, and now, original songs by Lynn Manuel Miranda. And the, the thing about that is. Um, that could be a good thing or a bad thing. I trust him a little, for the most part, but uh, he does have some ones that are kind of iffy. So uh, we'll see. I do think he'll cook. Uh, what, what, what most people will say, well, I think he will um, cook up a good uh, sound uh, songs uh, soundtrack in this and songs and, and whatnot. Um, I think we're actually hearing a little bit of the original soundtrack in this trailer. If I'm not wrong, you might you guys might have to look listen to that yourselves. Um, but if that's true, I, I do think this will be a good film again. December twentieth. Can't wait. Um, and yeah. So uh, now we get on. We're going to go on to uh, the next portion of our um, analysis, which has to do with analyzing, uh, just looking at the, the, the particular uh, names of the characters with cast and also the, uh, the teaser poster. Okay, so now we get to the casting and the actual characters that will be in this film. At least that have been announced so far. There's probably a good amount that haven't been announced yet to us, um, as you can see with the additional casting. Um, but as far as uh, physically announced uh, actors and cast, we're going to go through the characters, um, mainly so, um, again, I'm really bad with pronunciation, uh, so please uh, don't criticize me in the comments if I pronounce a name wrong. Um, but we're going to get into this, uh, especially with new characters that we don't know how to pronounce yet. Um, I'm not well versed in Swahili either, obviously. So, um, again, just to uh, why do you think I picked Shaba as my OC name? <laughs> Very easy to say. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna go in, we're gonna go into. Um, it's not just easy to say. I actually did it for. Uh, well, I did it because his main color was supposed to be copper, and copper Shaba is copper. But we're gonna go into this anyway. Uh, enough about that. So uh, we have uh, Mufasa here. <laughs> Um, of course, Aaron Pierre, um, uh, Kelvin Harrison Jr. as Taka, right? Which is interesting how they, this is, this is for, straight from the Disney, the Disney's, uh, pub press release page. But uh, Taka is a lion prince with a bright future who accepts Mufasa into his family as a brother. Okay. Um, interesting, a bright future, okay. Just the way they word it is interesting, I don't know. Uh, Tiffany Boone as, uh, Sarabi, uh, Again, can't say names. I'm sorry, uh, but young Rafiki. Let me let me tell you something about him. Uh, from what I heard, if that that is the younger Rafiki voice speaking over the trailer, it sounds like he's got life to his voice. It sounds correct. It sounds the way it should be, and that's one actor decision I think would make perfect sense. The rest of these hard to say. We don't hear them speaking at all in the trailer much, really and at all. So we don't know. Preston Nyman as Zazu. So young Zazu. Interesting. We'll see how that works. Uh, Mads Mikkelsen as Kiros, or maybe Ky Kairos, or it's probably Kiros, or yeah, Kiros. 
um, a formidable lion with the big plans for his pride. So that's who we see in the trailer, the, uh, that, that white albino lion, I would assume. Um, uh, beyond a, found a way, I think that's how you say it. Uh, gosh, if I pronounce these wrong, I'm going to get so much hate in the comments, whatever. Uh, Taka's mother, um, essay, essay, um, Lenny James as Taka's father, Obesi. So what's interesting here, and, and I keep going, um, Anika Noni Rose as Mufasa's mother, Afia. People who took that OC name are going to be mad. <laughs> uh, Keith David as uh, Mufasa's father, Masego. I, think that's what I could be wrong. Um, but anyway, what's interesting here is we don't have uh, the book. We have a book character mentioned with Taka. Okay, they used that. Okay, They didn't want to use the names for Ahadi or Uru or anything, though. Very interesting. Um, hmm, I wonder. Why they didn't do that. Who knows? Uh, but they did make new characters. I gotta give it to them. Pretty interesting. Uh, John John Candy as Rafiki. Um, but Billy Eichner as Timon. Uh, Seth Rogen as Pumbaa. Donald Glover as Simba, of course, returns. Beyonce uh, as Nala returns. But also Beyonce's daughter as Kiara returning, which we already have discussed within the trailer on that context. Um, additional casting, as you see, uh, as follows below. Uh, for, and by the way, two of those members are singers um, as well, which means that they are going to have um, probably song numbers or have to be participating in song numbers. So two of them are going to probably be sort, pretty much major characters, I would assume, uh, within this. Um, who knows? But um, we'll see how that goes. Um, the next thing we're going to get into is the teaser poster. As you see right here, um, man, what a... What a gorgeous poster. I, I, I know people have had problems. I don't know. Any, anyone who has a problem with this, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. Look at this. If you have a problem with this poster, I don't know what's wrong with you. This is a great poster for many reasons. Uh, one, it does reflect. It reflects kind of the, the whole purpose of, like, you know, Mufasa being younger than his growth in the journey. It reflects, I mean, the, th the, the, the messaging of the thawing snow shows, like, the thawing ice cold or the thawing, like, darkness or whatever i guess you could say the, the water reflecting you know what happens at the beginning like with the ripples and the ripples in his like maybe light. there's so many symbolism within this poster it's it's, it's so crazy uh based on events we know about the movie um not only that but uh it's a beautiful poster in itself we've never had a lion king poster with this kind of coloring with the snowiness to it or like the i i adore it i really adore it and um Yes, I will be getting one of these for my collection eventually. Um, but what a great looking poster. And uh, that's pretty much all I got to say about that. Um, so on that note, we're going to uh, finish up the analysis here. Um, again, uh, I've got some a little bit of worry still, especially with the CGI and uh, just certain aspects within the story. Um, I do think it's going to be a solid story nonetheless. I think at the this, this uh, trailer definitely makes me feel that it's going to at the least be a decent film in terms of the story and, and like, the expressions and the... Uh... Now, here's the thing. Here's one criticism I will mention at the end of this. It should have been 2D. No matter how good it is, no matter how... It should have been animated, and I'll, I'll tell you why. Um, if it was animated, again, because this was supposed to be meant for last year, and it still is going to be, like, a Disney 100th anniversary film, there could have been so many things they could have done with this being animated. Not only would it have been have appreciated more, acclaimed more, in my opinion, it would have also been uh, just generally like calling back to the roots of the company, calling back to the the the, the 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 you know the gorgeous animation that Disney had built itself on essentially. So I do think that's still a missed opportunity with this film. I really do. And I think, unfortunately, we're going to see other missed opportunities within this film as well. However, again, my, my consensus is I do think that the actual film itself is still going to be enjoyable. And it's going to be definitely a way better than this one hand King film. But then again, anything probably might be. Um, but again, I, I, I do think that uh, there's going to be aspects within this that people, especially within the fan base, are going to adore. Those who are kind of, I want to send a message real quick to those who are solely hating on it for things. Okay, that's fine. 
But I would actually argue that you guys should hold your opinions, just that I should hold my opinions, technically, until this film releases. We don't know what's going to happen with it. For all, You can't base a film on a teaser trailer. You can't base it on an official trailer. You have to base it when you see an entire film yourself. And the only way to truly judge a film is, even if it's bad, to sit through it, understand all the aspects of it, and then you can provide a true, critical take on a film. Um, but that's my, uh, my shtick. And um, I, I'm going to leave it off there. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video, which will possibly be another uh, talking about another animated film, as I do intend to do more reactions and analysis on animated movies. Thanks.